Hello, everybody. I just realized my mic was completely unmuted the entire time. Look at me. I'm a professional. How are you doing, everybody? Welcome on in. Um, Just getting some stuff ready. Just finished my work day. Hope everybody's doing well. I, I have to say, it looks really cool having the little letter opener over there. Something I've realized, though, is... My side lights in this room always used to light up the corner of the green screen enough so to not make it too dark. And where I've got this in here now, it's kind of blocking it. I didn't hear Toastington speak then. He should have done. Why did he not speak? Lord Toastington. Why did you not speak? Fool of a look. The, uh, to be fair, actually, the, the program might not be fully up yet. Give me a moment. <laughs> myself in the next time rid us of your stupid <laughs> throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity yes it was very cool of a took anyway i'm not gonna piss about too much today with lord toastington because we got some mana lords Good afternoon, calendars. Got to keep an eye on it because I think it's dead still, but for a different reason. Suddenly, music. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing some Mana Lords for a couple of hours here, and then we're going to be jumping on... So that, that'll be the YouTube stream. YouTube, you will only be getting Mana Lords. And then after, if you want to hang around, friends, we're going to be playing some Hunt Showdown. I'm going to have the, the boys. The boys are going to join me in the bayou. But I believe... Oh, I haven't seen that start screen before. Hello? Has that been there and I've just not noticed it? Or is this a new piece of artwork? It's freaking cool. Damn, I hope we can get two-handed swordsman later. Bardish, is that what they're called? Is that is that a new piece of art? What's a high pigeon? But yeah, so we'll be doing some lovely mana lords, and then hunt. I love seeing these guys work the fields. It's so cool. So yes, welcome back everybody to Toaster Field and Bread Tree, also known as the Greater Toastington area. Um, these two towns are doing fantastically. To the market in Bread Tree is looking absolutely look just like look at this. Look at this. Look how nice this looks. I can't not take screenshots. It gives me really, um, oh gosh, the center of Prague kind of vibes a little bit. I mean, yes, the buildings aren't as big, but it's that sort of tall medieval market town style church in the center. Like, mmm. I'm such a big fan. I wait. I can't wait until we can make some Prague-looking uh, 
stuff. Prog before the tourists are in there. <laughs> yes, yeah, circa 1540. Before those tourist Hussites ruined it. Um, defenestrated their way to a worse place. Yeah, so we have Bread Tree and Toaster Field. So, but today, these, these towns are getting there. They're getting to their max size. Things I want to try and do today is I want to build a little village that accompanies the manor, the main manor. Um... And then I think we're going to have to bring Crumpton up because I want to get to uh, Master Armourers here. So we need at least two more development points here. So we're going to need some level three Burgish plots, which we started on in the center of this town. I'm going to get another one. I'm not as happy with how Crumpton looks layout wise. It just... Don't know, just not vibing with me as much as the other two. And then we're possibly going to be starting. Uh, we've also got uh, we've got Burntum now, which is kind of our little mining die. Not mining. Uh, it was going to be stone, but it's kind of turned into a die town because there's so many berries here. So it's just a little hamlet, and it's also it's absolutely thriving here. Um, so maybe Burntum will turn into a, uh, an actual town as well. But that, that's going to be the main things. Bread Tree is still the town that is probably struggling the most food wise. It's got a fourth horse though. It's a great defensive spot. I know. I know. I, I love this, like, location. Lionheart was hyping up my modern Bailey cast. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Look at, look at this. I tried to make it bigger to fit a church inside the manor location, but sadly, I think I missized it. Forward slash, there's a tax office that is just a glitched... And it doesn't have road access anymore. So I found out if you want to build inside the manor, you have to build everything in there first and then build the manor. Um That's that's the that's the skill, but also it's it, you can't once it's in there, you can't delete it. Otherwise everything will get stuck. Um so outside of that, I am going to build a I think I'm going to build a little village like here, down the hill from the manor. I'm not sure what it's going to service yet. It might just be a little, a little trade hub. I just want it to look nice over there. We have the main castle here. Main castle, main town here. Toasterfield's almost leveled up. We need some more level threes here in Toasterfield. I want to try and aim these guys. Boom. Boom. Ooh, okay, we need some more. Looks hopefully on the release. Uh, building inside much easier is allowed. Yes. That or we'll have more of a chain of buildings to go inside of them, which will also make sense. I was just trying to put just the church in there because a lot of, at least in England, a lot of medieval castles in England had their own dedicated church in the grounds of the manor. It was not just castles, but manors, etc. Because it sh showed you to be a dedicated and pious person. Um, I also love this little manor here. It's just guarding the road. Overlooking the, the town. So going to move your dedicated work. Limit your work area to the other side of it. So I think the clean vision would be accurate. Right. Time to catch up on apples. Always struggling for the bread and the barley. I kind of haven't worked out those chains properly, I don't think. I've done a bit of a naff job there. 
personally of learning the right ratio of people to farms and farms to bakers and bakers to, to something. It's something I, I'm sure I'll grasp eventually, but um, yeah. I'm just trying to build up the market area here a little bit more because it feels... I've drifted... The entire town has kind of drifted away from the market slightly. And I've got lots of industry in these burgage plots here. So I'm going to try and uh, change that a little bit here in Crumpton, which I think is going to be our next town to level up slightly. Pie us than pious. I love that. Pious tea. Pious tea! Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, but we've just got rye cultivation, which I think will help with how much yield we're getting. Because I really, as you can see, the fertility in the barley here, rough right now. These fields have been through the ringer slightly. Hold on, which one of these fields was constantly on wheat? That's a shocker that rye fertility is less than wheat fertility in that field. Oh, there's loads of bread here now. I think I finally got the ratios right. thing again. I think that is the weirdest of the glitches that I've discovered of late. Just the being thrown around and I'm sure I'm hitting a hotkey or something at the same time as something else. There we go. I think it's the space bar. Long fields for veggie farms? Yes. So if you make a longer burgage plot for your uh, burgage plots, sorry, for... So, vegetable farms are a part of the burgage plots, which are part of houses. So, if you make the burgage plot on the house longer, it means the amount... Because they, they have a flat cost on the upgrades for burgage, no matter what they are. So, the longer they are, the more you have in them. However, I believe for chicken coops, it doesn't matter how long. You still get the same amount of chickens. But with vegetables and orchards, it adapts the yield. At the detriment of obviously one house is taking up a lot more space. We're doing some house upgrading to get those points in. Um, I think we just put in a new string of houses in this town, didn't we? I think we're probably going to go into the forest here a little. Let's go like that. And then also we'll build in this area and this area. Crumpton just leveled up. So let's head over to Crumpton because that will allow me to get advanced armor making over here. Boom. So the armorer's house is this one. We can now go, boom, production male armor, which will be cool because we've got like 500 helmets that this place has made. <laughs> It'd be nice to start getting some uh, armor as well. And then the militia from this place, the, I call it, the Crumpton footman. Yeah, they still need gambesons. Where were they? Were they trading gambesons with somewhere? Helmets were toast to field. Can you trade helmets for gambesons instead of leather for a moment? 
Gambersons. I swear we are making those Gambersons. I swear we've got some. Let's head. Yes, yeah, we want bread tree. Give me the easiest way I find to check a town supply is to check the trade. Oh, you're actually low on Gambersons right now. Why would that be? Oh, you're probably not importing linen right now because you've been importing vegetables. You still kind of need those vegetables. You probably don't need the malt as much. I could always buy it in booze here. So trade warbos for linen. I've been keeping tailoring in the other land. Eventually, I think I will get... Do I have pack stations here anywhere? Not other than... You know what? I don't think I've got a pack station in... I can easily tell how... what. What animals have we got? No, no mules. I don't have any pack stations here. Let's 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 fix that rapido. Uh, that's a corner house. We'll put the we'll put some pack stations over here. I think that way we can make sure that this place can also barter. I kind of I'm kind of okay with not putting like a tailor in this town. I want some of our locations to just be trade based -y. or sorry uh, like have that extra something extra about them so we have a tailor here who should be making get yeah, gambesons when they've got linen we do have a brewery we have the cobblers and we have the fletchers and then also we've got crom is it crompton Crumpton that's got the uh, gosh my brain is not working right now it's got the smithing industries can I make sure that you're buying in ale buying a bit more than that now that you've actually got money boom Cheerful Metropolis reach 100% approval in a large town. I just got, I just got an achievement. That's in Bretry. Nice. Right. So I think this is the maximum size settlement I can get now. Here at the very least. So do I want to go for the pelt extraction? Uh, I think it's only a small wild animal, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I mean, we got the berries going. I actually think I'm going to go for one of the trade or logistics here for the final upgrade. I mean, I could always open up sheep farming. That could be interesting. But no, in Bretry, in Bretry, I'm thinking it's trade. Establishing a new trade route will always cost a maximum of 25 regional wealth. I mean, that's quite good. But in this later stage, without getting the better deals, I actually think foreign surplus is probably the best for bread tree. I think putting a 
a food cart. And we'll definitely was that fire. Did I just put a firewood card. I did. I was meant to put the bread, the the food cart. But you know, I'll sneak that in somewhere else. How about right next to it? Put it elsewhere in the market. Works for me. Hey Park, getting busy now? Yeah, it is. some more roof tiles here. Right, let's check out some of the other locations. Burntum. Burntum's got so much food. I mean, some of that can get converted. I feel like I need to put some more houses in here. Did they not attach the front? Right, slightly different design for this town. So, Toaster Field is, what is this, one off of being the largest it can be? So what's what's going to be the next lucky level 3 building? I think it's going to be this one on the corner here, right? We just need... Also, Toaster Field. I wish I could, like, drag and regroup these. Oh, I could... Okay. I could remove the units. Because I don't think... Right, toaster field. Toaster field's going to produce me three archer units. The toaster field yeomanry. All right, um... You can get me two spears of bread. Okay, one spear unit in bread tree. Really? Hey, Lambert. Toasting's vo Toastington's voice box didn't work. I fixed him last night, which is... Intrigue... Oh, fixed him the other night. So it's intrigued that he's not. And then... I don't know why he's not working today. Also, I think I've slightly moved my camera because I keep ending up off... Cut off. Or have adjusted my seating position a lot or something. Um, I 
Okay. Why am I so limited here? What if I headed over to Compton? Can I ping the... Why can't I build any? Okay, if that's the case. Is there a cap on how many you can have? No. Oh. Apparently there's a hard cap there. Rotary was my starting location this time as well. I've started here and here on streams. You can't hear the game because I'm tapped out right now. I promised I wouldn't look at the bot, but I started looking at the bot. <laughs> Sorry. Brain egg started trying to fix the problem. Right, we have the two pack stations now. Please barter with bread tree for gambesons. You need gambeson here. Give them the shoes back. We're just creating this shoe economy here. Shoes are shoes are the coins of this game. We all trade shoes. Oh, you don't actually have that many shoes lying about. You do have a load of tools, though. Give them tools. Oh, no. Yeah, send, receive, gambesons. You're going to go to... Crumpton. You want to receive mail. And you're going to... Send linen. The mob people get to work. We get so much, like, negative weather. Your son wrote that? Nice. Does look good. Oh, wow, lightning. Oh. Suddenly. Th so 
hat ein Leder. Oha. Thunder. Right, let's upgrade that Burgage plot, I think. Get Crumpton up. A lot of people just not really working here yeah so let's or not really not not working they don't have tasks i mean apparently this town's become quite wealthy Far more spaced out than the other towns. Ooh, we just did a 360. <laughs> no scope. Oh, I took a chunk out of my thumb the other day um, on a, like, Cut it on a, unfortunately, opening a can, and oh, it's, it's so, like, sore. I hate, I hate it when you get little things like that. It's not a bad cut or anything, it's just irritating. Oh, yes, it's tipping it down in a thunderstorm of rain in July. This feels like the United Kingdom. This feels like Great Britain. Suddenly got lots of unemployed people. Oh, that's that's why I wanted I wanted people to do beekeeping. Get those beekeepers. Doesn't add any store locations. I was hoping it would. Right. I say we make another village now over here. Churches historically were meant to be east-west facing, aren't they? I've been building my churches the wrong way around. This is where your village is located? This is where my manor is located. It's a very solid build location, I have to say. Wait. <gasps> oh. Could put the church up there. Oh, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm gonna put the church at the foot of the manor. <laughs> so, well, that's kind of heretical, actually, isn't it, to say that the manor is higher than God?
So we'll put the church over here. do that. I think I'm going to put the marketplace again in front of the church. There's a workaround to expand the manor area and allow your allow you to put buildings in it. I I've, I've kind of worked out how it is, but I've built my manor now. I could try and rebuild it. Might try out on a different build at some point. All right, we're going to start with that and see how this looks in a moment. You didn't know they built churches east to west, and uh, but now I know and remember all the closest churches are all west to e uh, east to west. Yes. Um, it's Christian burials are all east to west or were in the medieval period it would always be very weird for them to be um, at least in the middle ages period and that's sometimes something you can see in uh, like that's how you can date different Saxon burials in the UK is the orientation of the body I believe. I believe. One Prime Bavarian had a, uh, on YouTube, had a video on my ability. I know he's been doing some videos like that. The reason I've been streaming this so much is because I just want to play the game and I haven't had time to just do little videos like that. I am I'm toying with the idea. I've only I've got four days or so. Well no, I've got until the release day, so I've got a week to do it if I want to do it. But I am actually toying with doing a review-ish for once. Or doing one of my five things. You, you should know about Man Lords. Five things I wish I knew about Man Lords. Can you import hides and export shoes? Yes, you could. Absolutely.
It's always raining. I'll take things we say all the time in Britain for 10, Alex. doing here now we almost filled this oh wait no that, that, that was an old warehouse we're not far off to be fair we could probably do with another weaver at this point or have we got more people we can throw into the weaver for work no it's it's full yikes some more burgage plots there it's an odd like if you look at it on the overall map it makes sense kind of as a shape but it's an odd shape when you take it, the context away so when your city starts to grow you'll probably start to craft more luxurious items from imported products yes and no enemy been spotted and toaster field leveled up I wanted to get irrigation here because I haven't seen what that looks like. Um, or if it's just a bonus. I think it's just a bonus. <laughs> Hello, you you gave you just gave my partner a moment of brain melt. Sounds about right. Right. Unit spotted. Where have they been spotted? Oh, they've been spotted near Crumpton. Hey, Kevin. And also, hello, Anna Garlic. Is it possible to import hides for shoes for profit? Uh, I'm not sure about profit, but you can definitely do it. Um, I know. Th so the thing is, in this build that I'm currently playing, and according to what the Manor Lords devs have been doing on Twitter, um, they are changing how trade works slightly. So expect some changes between this build and the early access build on the 26th. How many are they bringing over? Oh, that's a fair whackum. Let's rally the archers from Toaster Field. Some of you got male armor now. Yeah, some of them do. Look, some of them have got full-on chain mail now. Oh, they're almost full-on gambesons. There seemed to be a cap, which is annoying because I was definitely not, I, I definitely had more units than this before I down, down some of them to re-up them for, to try and organize them better. Today I learned. Let's upgrade the armor shop. And 
Nigel B68, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Welcome aboard. Okay. Brigands have been spotted. Men of Toasterfield. Men, no, sorry. Men of Breadtree. Men of Crumpton. Yeah, the men of Toasterfield. When you guys get here, just you will fire at will. I don't know why we're all firing at a bloke named Will. But where there's a will, there's a way. What have I been pinged about? Nothing of import. Good evening, Yavi. You know what? Go, men of Crompton. The archer's nearby, yeah. Almost. I'll swing those that way. Get a lot of night battles. Oh, this is my more veteran... Um, threat new unit as well. Oh no. Bandits are running around the sides of us. Archers. Other archers. Open fire, open fire, open fire. Oh no, this has not gone well. They've got us surrounded. They've got us surrounded. Get up, man! Form up, form up, form up, form ranks. Ooh. That was a close one, you know? You can see we only lost one man from, um, from Toasterfield. We will be remembered. I'll take it. Let's bring those guys back. those. I was trying to grab those. It's a nice sunny day. Let's have a look. Oh, they've actually... Some people have actually already put up market stalls all the way over here. But none of the buildings have been built yet. Interesting. Winter is coming. A 
I think the cycle of fallow and open fields is doing well over here. Right, let's take a look at Burntum. Burnton's got a little bit like Hobbitum vibes to me. Let's increase the die works. Where's the lumberjack? Oh. Need to put some people in the logging camp. Because they've got 280 planks here for some reason. I think you're going to be fine. The last time I built in, built in this area, I built here, didn't I? Yeah, because this was the original toast, 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 toastum. This was toast ham originally in the previous build. I'm building in Goldhof right now uh, on an offline game, and oh, I love it so much. I look forward to doing more builds. Currently in the early access, it's always this map, but your your starting location changes. And the resources on it and the fertility of the region uh, varies. Oh, I need another mule here, don't I? So, yeah, semi-procedurally, Jen. That would probably be one of my tips. You can build roads across regions. The fact that also development is tied to town size, so you are maxed out. What you can get, so specializing towns is a pretty much a priority. Oh, they're probably going to need a well over here, aren't they? Oh, well, what the can the matter be? Three old ladies got stuck in the map. The graphics for this game are just incredible. Oh, the visual beauty of this game is fantastic. Crumpton. I'm currently using shoes as a tr inter inter town barter economy. I think I need another bloomery, you know.
you need some people working the communal oven, don't you? Say, why do you not have bread here? You will do now. Charcoal burning is going fine. Wood and lumber is going fine. You've got so much. Damn, damn, damn. This again looks lovely, doesn't it? Take a quick flyover. Is this... So, that's the armor in the blacksmith's house surrounded by, like, storehouses and bloomeries and all the mining industry we've got set up here. Oh, she's using the hammer. It's gorgeous. Quite a lot of wealth in this little little town here. Definitely going to need a trade station here, I think, as well. I'm thinking I'm going to get the dyes here. And send these dies back to probably bread tree. Then maybe convert one of these level three into another tailors. We got a tailor right now who's making gambesons. I'm thinking we start having one that does die like cloaks and one that does dies. Or I could put that I could I suppose put that in toaster field. Tavern here keeps running out and drink.
That's what I'm thinking anyway. Unless anyone in chat has a an idea of where we should maybe do that. Houses again, level threes. Do I want to go for those ones? Do I want to go for these ones? I think I want to go for these ones. These four more, slightly more central. So many small shields in this settlement because they're being traded to here. Is that bread tree that's doing that? It is. I think it's one of these. I think it was, but might no longer be. So let us also add a trade route for that. Military. Small shields, add a trade route, establish, export. Make sure we only have a hundred left. upgrading the armor. I think there's a lot of ongoing construction. This Wait, how many oxen do they have here? Only one? Oh. Well, this town needs an oxen for sure. Started moving into Burnton. Burnton feels like such a sleepy village compared to everywhere else now. I'm just trying to work out a small industry to go here. That would make sense. 
Maybe I'm maybe I just try to level these up enough that I can get the uh get them to be bigger plots. I think all it would need is another clothing store or two. Crompton leveled up. Does that mean we can now do Master Armor? Enables Blacksmith to craft plate armor, which can be in turn used to upgrade the retinue. Yes. Now the thing is, I kind of want them to stay on the male armor right now, but I'm actually thinking we get another armorer's house I'm wondering if I put in a little road here boom we go boom 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 we do have a burgage slot boom You're going to be upgraded level 2. Burntum also leveled up. We'll go check out Burntum in a minute. Something we put in another armor there to also help try and do production. How much iron do we have here now? Zero. It's all being used, really. Got 600 leather here. Iron ore in. We're exporting the iron ore. No trade. No trade. Durr. Yes, now good. That's where it's all going. I would like to be able to make more graveyard, like bigger graveyards. I, I'm sure that will come later.
This town feels weirdly like wealthily developed, even though it's like a medium town. I continue to make mail because. Convert you to a cobbler's. Need to give these guys at least level two. With how rich this little town is. This is quite a big location. Right. Uh, Burnton also had to level up. I don't think you can get deep mines on the rich. No, because it's a stone cutter's camp. So, do I make Burntum the trade settlement? I suppose they should actually go for trapping, because that's the, like, the, one of their main food sources. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Bert Burntum a major trade town. So this road, I'm going to connect here, and then this, I'm going to connect in there, go past the manor. gonna make a big old trade station
I don't know if... Move that there. trying to work out where do I build buildings that we want work on. I think we've got to build them here. So they need to be big enough to have burgage plots. Don't necessarily have to be big ones because they're going to be artisanal. So I'm I'm thinking, yeah, we'll build basically an artisanal line of shops here and see if we can do the essentially making money out of trade. road ends I see why Rain, 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 go away. Come again some other day. I want to upgrade these burgages instantaneously to tier twos. As soon as they're built, boom, 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 tier two. First one of these is definitely going to be a cobbler's with the amount of um, leather we have here. Leather and dyes, yeah, we need tailors, we need all sorts there. So that's going to be that. Just rich wild animals. Need more farm hands. Supposed to feel has policies available. Don't need 
need those. But yeah, we're going to try and make this little trade town. They had a lot of money to start off with, so... Starting off by doing die trading. Burn some level up. Grab better deals. Well, there is actually a merchant coming in. Let's follow the merchant. I like that you can follow the merchants. I didn't know that this was a feature. I know what I want want to do if I go on a break now. Oh wow, we just made 200 gold there. Came in, did his trading. Now he's leaving again. Can you follow just anyone? Is it just merchants you can follow, apparently? We're going to need more stabling here. If this is going to become a trade hub, we should definitely get more stables. slightly American about my sensibilities here and do 
bit of straight roads. Blech. Well, actually, no. More American. Not not um, just American. Roman. Romans did straight builds, didn't they? Right. Put another tailors in. So we've got a tailor. This tailor is currently working on gamersons. No, I'm going to get you to do cloaks. One of the things I'm also going to need is pack stations. And we're going to need those pack stations. I like the idea of putting a road through there. We're going to need those pack stations to do some interlocking trades as well. Because I want to see if I can get the yarn, etc. from, say, Toasterfield. Try and get the full supply chain. Right, no trade the linen for now. Or I could get wool, and I could actually build a weaver. Maybe here. It's just what would I trade back? Leather? Leather for wool? I quite like uh, the idea of taking the base production. Industry. There's a weaver. A weaver's workshop in. Maybe over by these. We'll probably need some more houses in town as well. Strict straight residentials. One's making cloaks, which requires yarn and dyes. And one's going to start making clothes, which will require linen and dyes. Right, we're definitely going to need a few more people than this. A double layer of houses there. Burnton is becoming a much bigger town than I ever envis envisaged it to be. Think I might want to move this industry from this location. So definitely the sawmill.
This will be Bart when we touch the field. I want you to get send. I don't want to move this industry like one road out of town. I kind of want to put houses here. I don't know yet. I'm holding off. What do you guys think? Do you think I should put some burgage plots here? And move the dyers. The... So the weaver's already one road, road back. Just make this a little industrial park for the... thingy production. So that was a Tanner and a Dyer. Oh, that's a pack station. I've built I've got three pack stations now. Does that not fit in there? I think I need another ox on that. I think they're being permanently used somewhere. Possibly here? No. By the way, I think I need another oxen.
Right, let's do a quick check of the other towns. I need to sneeze. Right. Crompton, how are you doing? You need a th few more level threes. You have a thousand shoes. Shoes are going to forever be the trade economy of everywhere, aren't they? How do you have a thousand shoes? I don't even re recognize how. Right, you're going to now trade with Phantom. You are going to trade. You're going to send shoes. And you're going to receive cloaks when they arrive. little town they got going on there right speaking of little towns It's almost out of food here. Because there's 20... Is that... No. Where, where did I just see 24? Bread, bread tree has 24... On a, uh, wow. Wow. I'm going to get another forager's hut over here as well.
I'm actually slightly surprised they're running out of food here. So much iron ore here. Uh, the pack station's here, here, right? It's bread tree. Crompton. How many pack stations do I have? So Crompton, I'm going to actually send... Change this up slightly. Change these things up slightly. Where's Bredry? Instead of vegetables, receive bread. Over here. I feel like I can, I can lose this route. Send. Right, this is going to go. This is going to go to the new place. This is going to go to Burntum. I'm going to send wool in exchange. Mana Lord still mana lording? It is. Uh, yeah, let's go herbs. I'm just trying to... Annoying that it's night time while I'm trying to look for something. good fertile soil now over here in it. Now that we've cleared the area. We'll move that to the other side of this town. So I need to buy another ox in here and have someone constantly work it. Need to do some more construction. Good, they've moved that. Which means I can turn this into more fertile feet. Oh, wait, no, there's still loads of. Gotta move all of that first. All those logs. Actually, going to build another one just for the storage. But I should be able to make more fields there now. Honestly, I could probably just put some food on import. It 
also might be a case of granary issues. Is the granary full? Far from it. So there is a food cart there, right? There is. You just can't get to it because there's a clothing store that's been built into it. Interesting. Ooh. Game just threw me into a nice screenshot. <laughs> is there a grid snap feature... For those of us American Midwest who really enjoy squares, yes. I mean, technically, yes. I like. I, it's not a grid snap, but you can get things pretty straight. Like what I've done, he kind of here. have a lot of male armor now. Like to send Toasterfield male armor now. Right, burnt him. Burntum, where are you, Burntum? Burntum. Right, they're slowly moving that about. Oh, Burntum's running out of fuel. That's because I never put anyone back on woodcutting, didn't I? That's what's happened there. Need that log moved. Boom. There you go. 
gonna need to definitely supplies of that's gonna be sorted don't worry it's gonna get sorted I promise I promise food's looking better here now which is good extra bonus little village looking nice I'm setting up a mega weaving industry over here. I heard enemy units have been spotted. Oh no, they're going for um, Burntum. It's like the only location that doesn't have troops. That's a problem. Toasterfield's retinue is probably the closest. Also, the alignment on these has changed again. How quickly do you reckon those guys could come down from Crompton? Probably pretty well. I might just rally everyone. So it would be a good test of reaction times for our various locations. Oh god, they're going to get here so quickly. Oh, Burntum's about to be very, very burnt, I think. I need to create a militia in Burntum for... 100%. Or a retinue. Yeah, or we need to get a retinue in the trade town. Yeah, the retinue from Toasterfield are going to be a uh, thing. Uh, are the bandits getting tougher over time? No, not currently. Um, the problem is, I think I'm actually capped out on how many units I can make. I had more than this before. So I had more than this before. And then I like uh just like fully deleted some of my units to try and reorganize like where they where they lined up so all those toaster field guys were near toaster way like so they were grouped they've since ungrouped so it was kind of pointless oh god, the, oh god okay yeah but they are currently pillaging burntum burntum is getting burnt down Okay, Crompton and that renew isn't. 
we're gonna have to try and make something in this town because I this is this was my wealthy town. Oh gosh, they're burning so many things down. Yeah, Burntum's being burnt down. The great burning of Burntum. Oh no, they've killed the oxen. That's real bad. So if you don't have money in a local region and you lose your oxen, you can actually just be fully prevented from ever building there again. Let's save game. That's two, that's two units coming from my archers here. At least this has stopped them from burning things down. We might be able to secure some of the town. Yeah, they're burning some tailors. Yeah, that, that's the only thing um, as well. I've got one well in this town. Oh, this retinue is clapping. Oh, I don't like this, though. Archers have done so well. We've been dealt with. Okay, reaction times are kind of bad. If, if that ever happens again, Crompton and the bread tree retinue just can't get there in time. The toaster field guys kind of can. But the archers from toaster field got here f uh, just as quickly as the retinue did. And they come from very different locations. Right, that's, that's the bandits dealt with. The damage is... I think they're just going to have burnt a few houses, which is kind of fine. We're gonna need we're gonna need a corpse pit somewhere. Oh hello. Hold on guys, I'm just getting a folk.
it was me carpenter. He's coming to put some shelves in me cupboard. That, and I hadn't paid him for the thing on the wall, but that's because he didn't send me his details, and I've been asking for his details. Anyway. Um, <laughs> he's now sorted. Um, there was a question in chat, how many hours am I in right now? Um, this, it, this build is... 14-ish hours, 15-ish hours. Um, it's hilarious, because he's because he's a worm for some reason. This is just something that happens. So, a lot of people will say that I'm relatively well-spoken. Um, I mean, I slur my words all the time, and I've got a little bit of my natural accent. But whenever I'm talking to someone who's like a workman, or... Who does does a job especially if they have the same accent i fall straight back into my local accent and it's 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 wild um uh, so what point are we planning on switching i would i basically me and utari's dad is a perfect example mikey uh, half an hour rally is that good for you What's wrong with my local accent? Well, my local accent is, um... Basically, it's like the accent everybody uses for... <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's like classic, like, robber... <laughs> like, cl classic, like, British... You know, it, it, it's the British that Americans do to like make fun of it if that makes sense uh, yes it's, it's that it's that so he's like kind of a bit artful dodger isn't he is he so yeah but anyway bottle of water yeah it's it's, it's kind of like it's yeah it's kind of cockney it's kind of cockney and i just drop all isn't it chav my memory of my is good as Chav. Well, Chav, literally, the word Chav comes from Chatham, which is 10, 20 minutes down the road. Um, and uh, the word Pikey comes from the Earl of Sheppey over there. So, I've got them all sorts. <laughs> um, so, that's kind of rebuilt. So I'm polished. I am... I am... A faker. <laughs> I'm a liar. I'm a filthy, cheating liar. Right, roof tiles. Import. I want to make sure that there's always 20. I'm an actor. He's... He's a classically trained bastard. Well, class I'm not. I was actually contemporary trained. I wish I was classically trained. I, I've had classical training, but I wasn't classically trained. I did not go to one of the classic institutions. I'm Chav adjacent. <laughs> My, yes, I've got a Chav adjacency bonus, which means I've got a plus one to muggings. No, so a classically chained location would be like uh, if I had trained at uh, RADA or the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. I have to hide my uh, nasally upstate New York accent or I sound like a hick. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I have a very nasally voice as well. I, this was, is weird. When I was... When I was younger and training accents, some of the, some of the accents, I found... It very easy to do an American accent or a certain type of American accent because I'm naturally quite nasally um, thanks to living with cats all my life despite being allergic to them and I've noticed as well now that I've been pointing out my accent I'm I'm over enunciating I'm going harder into the well-spoken um, which is probably good I should probably try to do this more and actually care about what I say but it, out of a lot of my friends I could do an American accent pretty decently because I had that nasally quality. Sorry, Americans. Um, right, yes. Can I have a dire? 
So Danny Dyer's workshop. You do this. Livestock trade, 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 trade. Trade, 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 trade. Import all the sheep. Get me 70 heads of lovely sheep. 70 my sheep. Bow, bow, bow. Really? We have no mules here? That's just wrong. Do you know how much the game will cost? I believe that information is out. I have not been told how much the game will cost. Um, I believe it's even on some of their Steam artwork how much the game will cost. I feel like maybe calling it uh, Burnt Ham was ill-advised. Are you able to rename it to something like Invest Ham or bring a bottle of cider and make it somewhere, make, make some new friends. Shum. <laughs> Because there's an S there, it becomes friendship. <laughs> Bloody English language. It loses the ham. I can do a great Australian accent but just by speaking. Australian. Australian. Austra Australian. Is that road connected there? I don't think that is. <laughs> Cutie, so she doesn't cook. Ask how I know. Oh my gosh. Boy. Oh, there, no, there is rubble here. Oh, that's some of the industry. That's the storehouse and stuff. Okay, so that turned to rubble. I need to physically rebuild that. Upgrade the church. Oh, game didn't like that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel a lot of um, errors in the code right now because of how far I've been pushing this in terms of I have 900 stones in storage at this one location and it's tried to keep track of so many towns. Um, early access, early access, everybody, early access. Hot code, hot code, hot code. fucking pairs of shoes in Crumpton. It's just a cobbler who's just been absolutely going for it. I'm a millennial living in America. We can't imagine owning our own houses. Americans and uh, Brits uh, unite on that front. Oh, that's right. Um... One of the oxen was murderized. Let's buy another one.
One of these is making cloaks, right? Clothes. Yeah, you're making cloaks. Got another full large storehouse. Right, burned him. Where's burned him? Need to put a manor in burned him. Just a small one, I think, I'm going to put it. Don't think I'm going to go for a ward one here. We've got a lot of ward. So it's going to be more... Burntum Lodge. Not every not every manor needs to be like a fort or you know our main manor. Saving game causing issues. Did you see Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 announcement? No, is, has that happened now? I know there was some... I know Warhorse were announcing something today. Oh, it is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Should we, should we watch the trailer? Should we watch the trailer? That's the wrong monitor. Uh, 
wish a gamer would let me Hello. It's a floating knee. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. Oh, he had a hand arquebus, uh, to a hand, early hand cannon. Who's out wars? Are we still playing as Henry? That's what I want to know. That looks like it could be Prague. There's him. I always dreamt of leaving this place. Henry's come to see us. Becoming more than a peasant. You know the trouble with an adventurous life. Hands cap on. It can end before it gets started. Congratulations, Sir Knight. You finally become a man. <laughs> Wake, Wake up. up. Pull yourself together, Henry. You can pet dog. Yeah, I Merciful God. Be kind and protect us so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. Oh shit, that's soon. Well, well, Whew. oh, am I going to have to play Kingdom Come Deliverance for a third time now? When did I last play it on the channel? I was expecting 2025 as well. Holy what? Can I wishlist it? Have they put it on Steam for a wishlist? No. I loved the From Ashes DLC. Do I ever play the women's lot through? Yeah, you can wish it on Steam. I can't find it on my Steam. It is soon, but soon means confidence in the project. Well, yeah, it's, it's been, what, seven years since... Kingdom Come Deliverance came out the year I graduated. It was the last game I played on the channel before I graduated, like, full way through. 
No, I played it again. I want to say 2021. Oh, man. That's exciting. I'm here for that. What's on the game so far? Worth a day one purchase. I'm not allowed to give a rating of this game yet or a review. I would say my... <sighs> it's hilarious. Me and, me and Lionheart were talking about this on the podcast. This is the biggest gripe we have with early access content sometimes. Is when they split a... And there's nothing... It's I know why the devs do it. But for a content creator it becomes very frustrating because it... It sometimes can be detrimental because it seems like we're hiding something. We're not. Um, so, I can't give this a full review or a rating or anything. I will say that I have currently put 30 hours into it. I often say that if I can get at least one pound worth of content per hour, sometimes it's two pounds of uh, content, two two pounds per hour i think it's worth it as a game do with that what you will and i would say ask chat chat are not beholden to the same embargo as me um and a lot of these people have been watching it for the th for the 30 hours that i've streamed this and also i will say i've got 30 hours in this version i have another 30 in the steam next demo <laughs> from two years ago we're about breaking embargo am i enjoying myself there's a definitive sentence that I keep using and saying a lot. I'm a very busy person. I work in video games. I work as a content creator. Being a content creator often means that I sometimes don't get to play games I want to play. I have found myself playing this when I'm not live. One pound an hour was pre-inflation figures. Now it's one pound fourteen. Uh, no, I keep it in line with. Um, yeah, I mean that's still better than any cinema ticket, I guess. <laughs> Even with the inflation, it's about to say I keep it in line with cinema tickets. So it's like, no, I don't. I'd be getting nowhere near as many game hours as I can get for the price. All right, so is this going to give me another retinue when this is built? If I, if I told you all that sometimes I go to bed thinking about this game a lot, that might also <laughs> give you a good idea. Oh, where are we going now? Oh, yeah, how's the little town over here doing? I should have eight horses, so I need to keep buying those.
So what a hot function do horses have in this? Are they just military farming and enhancements as well? They're neither. Uh, they're for trade. They pull trade wagons. So if you, uh, so for traders to work more efficiently, traders, so traders actually travel in this right now. So when they, they store things at the post, you'll either have AI traders come through or your traders need to go to trade points, I believe. Or, or, or no, no, no. Trade, so traders come from trade points to hit your trading posts. Your traders will go to the various stores, etc., and use the horses to speed up their transiting of goods to the trade posts. That's how that works. And then you have mules. Mules are another one. Mules work at pack stations and they, they allow you to trade between your towns. It's a little complicated. There's a bit of a chain to it. I, I hope they change the barter partners to be able to do it as like local trade for regional wealth. That's something I would quite like. How many mules you got here? You got three. Good. Actually could do with a horse. There's just going to be a dead ox in this road now forever, isn't there? Bless it. Poor thing. Oh, yep. Yeah. We can get rid of this stone cutter camp now because we've mined up the entire rich stone deposit. I've built a pack station here. I'm going to destroy that in favor of putting a burgage plot in this area. And I'll make do building more pack stations there if I need them. Oh, I need a tavern. You have no idea how much I want the ability to name my taverns. Burntum now has... Did it get a retinue? It did get a retinue. I love that I was going through all these retinues. At, we're at a point now where it's like, yeah, I don't need to. I don't need to. I, I expect building naming will get in there eventually. Maybe with some random generated names as well. That would be nice. Right, friends, friends, Romans, countrymen, if you're over on, um, if you're watching over on YouTube, this is going to be the end of the stream for you. Um, I will be back tomorrow morning with more Manor Lords. Uh, those of you on Twitch, don't go anywhere. We're just going to be swapping game now because we're going to go over to uh, Hunt Showdown. The developer is very uh, transparent and open about development uh, and uh, spits all ideas with followers. I know, I, I've spitballed ideas with him back in the past. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm, as well as many people at Hooded Horse, I'm going to continue. I'm thinking, yeah, I, I've got, I've got some video ideas planned for Manor Lords, I think. Whilst it's my current brain rot, I think I should do so. Um, I've just got to find the time to do that. But friends, yeah, over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next stream tomorrow morning. Uh, look, rise and shine. 